Okay, well, let me ask you about the cover, cover of Charlie Hebdo. As we just mentioned, it shows the Prophet Muhammad wearing a white robe and a turban. He's shedding a tear and he's holding up a sign saying, Jesui, Charlie, I am Charlie, and all is forgiven. What does that mean in your mind? You know, I saw the image on Twitter. It's, you know, it's going around the world. And I thought actually it was quite respectful and done tastefully. So I wasn't offended. You know, at the same time, though, I do live in North America. And the situation for Muslims in North America is very different than the situation for Muslims in Europe. I mean, it's, it's a radically different situation. I mean, the Muslim, you know, Canada and the United States, we are countries that are made up of immigrants. It, you know, we are part of a melting pot. Whereas in Europe, there's a lot more anti-immigrant sentiment. So you look at, say, the rates of education and employment of Muslims in North America, Canada and the U.S., and they are at par um, with the wider community. Whereas in Europe, you know, you're looking at up towards 40 percent unemployment with Muslim youth. You're looking at ghettoization and alienation. So we are looking at a very different atmosphere um, in Europe um, where Muslims are being raised than, say, here in Canada and the U.S. Do you, do you think that the magazine Charlie Hebdo realizes that and realizes their brand of satire might hit Muslims in a different way in France than it does in the United States? You know, what, what's interesting to me is um, I compared it to when the cartoons came out in 2005. Do you remember the big Danish cartoon controversy, mm -hmm. Carol? I, I mean, do. hundreds of Muslims died protesting that. There were embassies that got burned down. I mean, you know, we had, the Europe lost almost a billion dollars in goods from boycotts because the Muslim world was so enraged. And now, 10 years later, the only Muslim that's died because of these cartoons is the Muslim police officer who was trying to protect the cartoonists. So you can see this radical change in 10 years from what happened then and what's happening now. And you're seeing, you know, over the, you know, um, the entire Muslim world coming in support of the cartoonist and saying this was wrong, killing these cartoonists was wrong, and we support you know, freedom of free, you know, we may not like mm -hmm. these cartoons, but we do not believe that they should have been killed because of them. And so you can see the incredible difference that's happened over 10 years. 